Hi, my name is Igor and I will show you how to create and run Twitter account for your organization. Twitter is a social network based on short messages commenting on events in real time. It is one of the fastest social networks. After entering your organization's name, email and password, press sign up for the Twitter button. Then choose username of your organization, also known as Twitter handle. Usernames can be changed, but this only confuses your followers. After confirming all your data, you will be guided through six steps that can help you set up your account. To start, press Let's Go. Now you have to fulfill your interests. Next, Twitter will offer follower suggestions based on those interests. Since you are setting a profile for your organization, you should prepare a square photo of your organization's logo. Next step, you can connect your mail account with your Twitter profile. This way, you will be able to see all your mail contacts which already use Twitter and start following them. Setting the cover photo is not necessary, but it can help you become visually different and recognizable and make your organization profile more related to your ideas. In the same Edit Profile section, at the left, you can enter most important information about your organization, such as bio, location and website. Background of your profile can be changed as well. Go to Settings and then click Design button. Save changes and you're ready to go. In order to be up to date with the latest information and to get noticed, you should proactively follow others in your field. In order to find people who tweet about same things as you do, you should understand hashtags. Hashtag represents a link to all other tweets with the same hashtag. That way, users who are interested in a topic can get all tweets about it. You should also use hashtags in your tweets, since it's a very good way of reaching higher number of users. Mentions are a way of communication in which you can mark other Twitter users in order to get their attention. Besides simple communication with other users, you can use mentions to reach more users. To do that, in your tweet add a mention of a person or an organization that is related to the topic you're tweeting about. For direct communication, use direct message. You can only send direct message to accounts that follow you. Send messages by going to message section at the top or directly from someone's profile. You can use direct messages in order to thank your followers while offering them more information. To start tweeting, type your message in the bar at the top. You can also use tweet button in the upper right corner. There is no such thing as too much tweets, as long as content of your tweet informs or adds to the conversation currently happening. Here are some tips on how to write interesting tweets. In order to be more visible, use hashtags. If you are, for example, tweeting some valuable information about whale saving action, you should be using related hashtag. Do not hesitate to clearly show what your organization stands for. In case you agree with some tweets, favorite them or retweet them if it's something your organization supports. Add value for your audience, provide information they'll consider useful, share things you believe they are interested in, ask for feedback and their opinion. Talk about novel things, things done for the first time. Use Twitter to talk about real life and in real time. Try to make your content as simple as possible. All messages are complex, 
but the beauty of Twitter is to boil down all the complexity into a simple attention-grabbing 140-character message. Since everyone can use social media to publish messages that can travel very far and very fast, you should be prepared for all kinds of crisis situations. Depending on industry you are working in, crisis situation may happen more or less often. But when crisis happens, you need to have a communication plan ready. Here are some tips you might find useful. Answer as soon as possible, but do not rush into an answer. Redirect communication to direct messages whenever possible. Since people react better to individuals, give your Twitter communication additional value by using personal name. If you are an organization that is likely to have ideological opponents, learn how to identify them and don't go into prolonged discussions with them on your page. By all means, respond what is your position on the topic, but if they come back with the same attitude, simply favorite their tweet. This puts an end to a pointless discussion. Always block users from the page if they use swearing or hate speech. In case you are in charge of several Twitter accounts, TweetDeck and Hootsuite might be the right solution. They both represent social media dashboards for reading, sending and receiving tweets, with possibility to schedule tweets for later. For best Twitter analytics and trends you should go to Topsy.com, where you can analyze tweets by using all kinds of filters. Also, for additional search you might want to go to Backtweets.com, which shows you number of times your link has been shared. In order to provide quick information, you need to be close to the internet and Twitter. This is why you should install the Twitter mobile app, supported on all mobile operating systems. 